Glad to hear vault Tech actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about him just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm going to help you, I want something in return. All right, listen, I got this plan. You're going to help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now, this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken him out for a test drive. Now, there anything else you wanted to chat about? Some other time then. Defensibility in proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your cat. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment. <clears throat> Details. Damn, I had to get that one. An eye for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's Edutapes. So long. Come on, Mort, what, what, what was that?
dedicated listeners. Welcome back to Headmaster Mort's Edutapes. Today, in this second tape, we are talking construction. Now, the first step of construction is... Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Wait, well, <clears throat> electing. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape I'm building? Two, have I read the schematics thoroughly? And three, do I have all the required materials too? Who the hell bled on my notes? Saul! If I find that was you, you're gonna bleed on... Short on materials, loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic, your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's Edutapes, Edutapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me, this better be dead. Where are you hiding? South of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? And no people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off. Overseer's log. Overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. 
or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me. <clears throat> Overseer's Log, town of Flatwood. My God, there's no one here. The old tavern, the church, people were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's hey, something else, a here. disease. 
if you need I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice... Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. A little luck. You'll do just fine out there. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about a treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, Bob and you should too. Discovered. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is While the overseer over signing here, off. Why not grab a thin bag or two? Are you here for the responder training? Then you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here too. At first I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through and hearing their stories. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? I knew it! I could tell just by looking at you. I've always thought that life in a vault must be so amazing. With the robots and all the machines and having everything you need every day. Best of all, you're safe. Which, let me tell you, is a thing us outsiders very rarely get to feel. Though I guess you're one of us now, so that's all in the past for you. Go right ahead. Nope.
it is? Oh, uh, yeah, am I loud enough? Okay. Um, hi. What do you want me to say exactly? Yeah, so just talk about how you got here and maybe a little bit about your life. This is a historic document. Go ahead, Tabitha. Okay, 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 so, well, thanks. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> I've been sober for nine days. Mm, I got here nine days ago. My name is, is Tabitha. And this is my story. I just found out about everything. <laughs> the war, the bombs, I, I just... I just realized this was uh, <laughs> really happening. For years, I thought the chems were playing tricks with my mind. Every time I had come out of my haze long enough to look for food, I'd find more chems and, well, they kept going. And I kept seeing madness. But, um, I would have been wandering around fighting giant rats and eating cars not for the responders. They're, they're good folks. That doc in the church, um, got me some meds that are helping out a lot. And they have group therapy meetings. And, and it's good. It's good. I, I, I think it's good. But listen. Should avoid the mountains. <laughs> They'll just get you mixed up. Get you doing things you don't want to do. <laughs> there are so many chems up there. I spent too long there and I hurt people. I couldn't think right. I, I couldn't. Remember what we said in the group? Take your addictol and rest, and things will be okay soon. It's okay. We're here for you. Yeah. I'm taking it. When I feel better, I'm going out west, though. Getting out of this place. Getting out. Getting away from the cams. All of this. I feel better every day, but comes years of rads, years of sleeping in the mud. It adds up. Yeah. I'm get back to sleep now. Okay. Okay. Thanks for sharing your story, Tabitha. Get some sleep. You'll be okay. You're safe now. Automated warning to all responders. Mr. Fan has asked Gaza has asked us all to document our stories for posterity.
territory. Seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwood, it was rough, mind you. The kids ran into a group of assholes in the mountains and stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to be safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science. Overseers, let's call these personal journals. Not an official law, just something from me. The Agricultural Center, one of my first posts with vault I was so excited because I used to come to this same farm when I was a kid. <sighs> I remember one year at the Autumn Festival, me running through the corn maze going every which way, Mom and Dad yelling after me to slow down. <laughs> Wasn't gonna happen. I guess I was always hitting life fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout. I had to make troop leader. Couldn't just be a good student. I had to have straight A's. God, I miss those early days. 
being a kid. The three of us, our simple life, our simple house. I wonder if it still stands. something important to me this radio station I try not to talk about myself too much but maybe you've heard me mention it before I'm only 23 but I've had more than my share of bad time I don't say that to get you to feel sorry for me I know that so many of you out there have had difficult lives too some far, far harder than mine. I say it because I want you to know I can relate. I know what it's like to lose family and friends, to struggle. There's one thing that always kept me going, always meant something to me. It's this place, this radio station, this music. These songs playing out across the world for everyone to hear, they mean so much to me. They remind me of good times, of people I care about, things that really matter. Oh. Automated message. The Forest Watch detects all supervisors down. Good job. Responder team, proceed to the Ag Center and get to the mainframe. You need to reset the farmhand targeting parameters. That should keep our people safe in the area. Be careful. I'm not gonna act like it's mine, like I own it or anything. I've fixed some things up, sure, but I didn't build Appalachia Radio. It doesn't belong to me. But I wanna make sure it stays on the air because maybe it can give someone else hope.
Thank you.